So our fire panel is up and running. What we're going to do is manually, in the face of the panel, tell it that it's node number one, and then we're going to go on to the enunciator and manually tell the enunciator that it's node number two. So the way we do this is we hit the menu button. We have to get into programming in order to do this. We're going to go to tools. After tools, we'll go to program. My password, you'll need to know your programming password. I just happen to put it at 1111. I'll enter that number followed by the check mark. You'll notice down here that the programming light is on and we want to go to the next menu. So we'll hit the check mark and go to the next menu. And then we're gonna to go to the setup screen. So we'll hit the up arrow once and the setup. Notice that it says this network node is zero. The way we're gonna start this out is the fire panel is gonna be node number one. So we'll touch the number one button and then hit the check mark. And do notice that the whole faceplate of the panel will come back and tell you that it's working. What it's doing is it's setting up the panel that it knows that it's node number one. And when it's all finished, it's gonna come back and say that it's looking for the next node at node number two. At this point, we can get completely out of programming. So you hit the escape button two, three times. We'll go to three for exit, followed by your password. and the check mark. We'll hit the status button and it'll put the panel back to the normal screen. In a moment or so, the panel will go into trouble indicating network loss. As you saw, the panel did go into network loss, so the next thing that we're going to do is come to the enunciator. And we have to do something very similar to the enunciator. So again, we're going to hit the menu button and we're going to get into programming. So six for tools, one to program. Again, my password is 1111, followed by the check mark. Once I'm in, we're going to look for the setup screen. Again, same location. We'll hit, scroll over to setup and hit the check mark. And you'll notice that this says node number zero, next node is one. So it doesn't know anything. So we know the fire panel was node number one, looking for node number two. I'm going to tell this enunciator that it's node number two and hit the check mark. And when we do, it'll come back and say that it's working. When it's all done doing its thing, it's learning the fact that it's number two, its next node number is going to come back and say that it's node number three. Well, there is no node number three, so we have to do is scroll down and tell it that the next node in the network is node number one, and then hit the check mark. And then all you have to do is escape out of programming Three for exit, 1111 is my password. Hit the check mark and we'll wait for it and we'll go for seven for status. Okay, when I hit the status, you'll notice that there is no time and date in the system. It hasn't learned that yet. That information comes from the main fire panel and it'll be there. Now notice that the network is not failed. And if we take a look at the fire panel that was in trouble a few moments ago, there is no trouble with network failure.